Hello fellow model railroaders. Got something I want to share today. I learned this from someone else because that's great. That's what YouTube is supposed to be for. I got this idea from the Crooked River and the Eastern Railroad. Check out his channel on YouTube. Very, very good model railroader. In one of his videos, he described how to make these loads. This is nothing but cardstock that's been spray painted with spray paint and then glued onto cardboard and stuck inside a railgun gondola. Well, it's in there. But you can see, it turned out pretty good. His method, or his card, turned out way better than mine. This was my first attempt. But I also experimented with some other ideas using this steel plate. Um, entertained the idea of using loads, or making loads. And then I went really all in and started making these. Now this is just supposed to be a stack of steel plate that somebody who doesn't know how to operate a forklift very well knocked the pile over. And this was made from a Velveeta box, I believe. I'll show you how I made them here in just a moment. But I started off with these. I started making a bunch of steel plates for loads for flat cars and gondolas. And I thought, what else can I do with this? Hmm. Thought about it for a day or so and came up with these yesterday. This is just a pile of steel plate scrap. And I'm going to put it in my scrap yard. I thought it made for a pretty interesting three-dimensional just pile. And all it was was a Coke box that's been spray painted with two different kinds. I'll show you what they are. But I made these three yesterday. They turned out pretty good. Ah, bumble fingers. But these will just be, you know, around my steel mill set like so. Probably in the scrap yard. Probably with a piece of equipment with electromagnet on it because that makes more sense than a grapple. And OSHA would have a coronary if they saw steel plate stacked like this. They would flip out. That is basically a death sentence right there. But on my railroad, I don't have OSHA, so they can't find me, which is great. But they're a great entity to have out there for safety. A lot of people complain about them. All right, what you're going to need, you're going to need a few things. One, a piece of cardstock. This was just some sort of thin packing material. You can see the thickness right here. And all I did was spray painted it. I first spray painted it with a coat of Krylon Camo Brown. That was the first coat. And the second coat from about a foot away was Rust-Oleum Satin Rustic Orange. That's the only two colors you need for this. And when you spray paint the camo brown, and then, you know, from about a foot away, eh, you know, probably about that far away or so, in a circular motion, so it just splatters and you don't, like, totally spray paint it. You just want it to cover just a little bit. Once you do that, then you flip it over. I've already done some of the work here. I just make a couple of different lines like so. Then all I do is cut them out. I'm going to attempt to cut them out. This huge black line, it's hard for me to miss, which is great. Arrgh! Now these don't have to be straight and perfect. I'm going to cheat here in a minute because i got something that will cut these a lot faster than I can cut them with scissors. I just want to make strips of this material and I'll show you what you do with it afterwards. I'm going to try to do this so I don't eat up too much YouTube time. Alright, so we'll just use this as an example. We have three pieces ready to be cut into strip. Here's the fun part. around buddy I got the right tools for the job this is a paper cutter we're just gonna frame them right out you can cut any size you want it really doesn't matter because you're gonna stack them anyway 
I cut big wounds, little wounds, just don't cut your finger off. And I'm going to cut two at a time because this thing will handle it. And this right here will probably be about the fourth pile I've made. I'm just going to start it. I'm not going to finish it. Just enough to show you what's going on here. So you can do it. I like to use a piece of wax paper. And I'm probably going to have these upside down and all messed up. I hope not. So we'll see. And basically all I do to make this pile right here is I start off just a couple of pieces stuck together like this. As close as I can get them. I take my good old trusty Elmer's glue. And just start making a circular ring around these pieces and start stacking right away. Pretty easy to do this. Even a beginner model railroader can make this pile. To the seasoned guys, I want to thank Crooked River and Eastern Railroad for coming up with this genius idea because it led me down some other rabbit holes. Boy, do I like to follow rabbit holes. I like to be informed of what's going on. He got some really neat stuff on his channel. There's a lot of great model railroaders. That's what makes YouTube so great sometimes when they don't quiet you down for your opinion of whatever matter it is. Sure does have a lot of good information. And that is basically it. You just keep on going on and on and on until you get a big pile of this scrap steel plate. It doesn't take long to accumulate. Every once in a while you want to go and give them a nice smushing down. So that kind of lets the glue ooze out and fill in the cracks that you missed. And you just keep doing the process just like this. One size rough, one size smooth. You want to make sure the paint you get, you want to make sure you get this brand and this brand of spray paint. Because this makes the exact color combination I'm using right now. And that is just about it of this. I'm almost ready to start placing stuff on my layout. Got one piece of track work that's giving me a real hard time. And I will eventually figure it out. Till then, I do little projects like this to keep myself busy and active in the hobby. And that will make a very eye-catching pile of material. Now you got to let this dry for probably about a day because if you'll, you can see in here, I'm sure there's still glue that isn't dry. This is left over from yesterday, and that's what it looks like on the bottom. But nobody's going to see the bottom. You could technically spray paint that if you wanted to. But that's what the pile looks like. I figure I got a piece of equipment with an electromagnet on it, and I'll stage it right by these piles, and that'll look like where it's supposed to be. But I hope you'll try this and be sure to check out the Crooked River and Eastern Railroads channel on YouTube. Very, very cool channel. 
I'm out. Hope you guys have a good day. God bless. Bye.